Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back to the dig site, and today we are here back again with another reaction video. And today's reaction video is going to be about Transformers Rise of the Beasts second official trailer. Um, I have not watched it yet, so I'm going to be watching it through, through the screen. Of course I'm going to be watching it through the screen. I'm going to be watching it and recording myself watching it. I'm going to be reacting to it. There you go. Okay, let's continue. Let, let's start. Oh wow, jumping straight into it. Oh, new scenes. Awesome. For centuries, our kind has stayed here. Rhinox, Cheetor. That's nice. The darkness has found us again. Prime. This is about the fate of all living things. What is that? Unicron is coming. Unicron! <gasps> Unicron! Oh, finally! I thought we were boys. You want it? Come and get it. You brought a human here. Oh. I'm nobody. I ain't even seen nothing. I'm not even seeing anything right now. Thank you, hold the man. Can you have a pet to aim? Seen from the first. Oh, never mind. This is not our war. Optimus, we must trust each other to protect the home we all share. <laughs> oh my god! Planets, so like way bigger than a planet. Oh, Bumblebee! Oh, nice! In the end, Scourge, everything you cared for. Oh, getting to be consumed. Oh, okay, never mind. Maybe there's another way to save our home. You've never faced anything like this. Oh my god. Let them come. Oh my god. There's no way. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, Scorponok. Oh my god. Oh, okay. That's really brutal. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no 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 no! This is ruining it. Get this out of here. Okay, that that was that was awesome. That was like okay. I haven't I have not seen the second trailer before just now watching it, and that that was awesome. That was awesome. Okay, so. Yeah, we get some shots of Bumblebee at the beginning. This is, I'm assuming, the final battle of the movie. And then, obviously, Air Razor and um, Optimus Primal swinging in the trees, which is very, very nice shot. For centuries. Just awesome. Okay. And then, yeah, we got Rhinox here, Cheetor here. Che yeah, Cheetor? I think it's Cheetor. And I'm assuming Optimus Primal is... Up there. On Earth. Cheetor again. Air Razor. But I can't wait to meet, um, or to see these characters in action. Because, again, I haven't watched the, um, Beast Wars ever. So, it's going to be interesting. Again. Prime. That's, that's nice. In the rain, too. This is about the fate of all living things. So, what's that? I'm trying to think what that crystal is. I'm trying to think back to G1. If there was a crystal... Mm, I can't remember, though. So... Unicron is coming. Unicron. Oh, my God. 
Oh, that is beautiful. Finally, finally. After the failure, or uh, well, not a failure, but after the, like, well, yeah, I guess you'd call it a failure, of Transformers The Last Night, with the slow revealing of Unicron being Earth, only for the sixth movie to get cancelled, we never got to see Unicron. But now, we get to see Unicron live action in his planetary form. This is basically the exact same... Unicron that was seen in the um, Transformers G1 movie and it just looks so nice It just looks so good. Oh my gosh It's just beautiful Again, I'm still a bit mad that um Well, I'm not mad, but I, I, I don't know how Mirage is going to do in the, um, I don't know how Mirage is going to do in the movie. I mean, I, I just feel like it should be Jazz. It should be Jazz, and I just don't feel like Pete Davidson is the right person to be voicing somebody like Mirage. It just doesn't really fit him. You want it? Come and get it. Come and get it. Oh, Bumblebee was in the background. I didn't notice that. Human here. And this actually is interesting because in the 07 film of Transformers, Optimus Prime was open to humans. Like he was um he was kind to humans and all that stuff. But for some reason, Optimus having the first interaction with humans, he's mad at Mirage. So I'm curious on why Optimus Prime is angry at the humans and why he doesn't like them or then again it could be the whole robots in disguise where humans aren't supposed to know that they exist but it's a bit late now since bumblebee basically showed himself in the first movie i'm nobody i ain't even seen nothing i'm not even seeing anything right now this yeah i uh, i keep forgetting who that transformer's name is that's obviously nightbird or yeah nightbird i'm pretty sure that is not a very uh good looking shot of optimus prime's face right there this is not our war and oh my god we have scourge Nightbird, who's very short, I might add. And then this Decepticon, though, then again, this Decepticon, or Terracon, I should say, looks like a absolute tank. He is just so much more bulkier than Scourge and Nightbird. Optimus, we must trust each other to protect the whole... Yeah, there's Wheeljack's design, which... In the beginning, I didn't really like his design, but I'm slowly starting to warm up to it, so it's not that bad. RC's design is awesome, as well as these, um, the Maximals. Shit. Unicron, oh my god! I mean, look at that! That is just beautiful. After what? Maybe... Five years or something? We were supposed to get Unicron in live action, but it never happened. Now, we're finally getting Unicron in the second movie, or the second, I guess you would say episode, of the rebooted Transformers series. Because remember, the Bumblebee movie was the official reboot of the Bayformers universe. So now, in the second installment of the Bumblebee movie, we're already getting Unicron, which is insane. How big can this guy be? Uh, he... Oh, look at that. Now I'm wondering if Unicron's going to transform into his robot mode. If he does, the world's going to be in a bit of a danger. Planets. Oh, yeah. Oh, so wait, like... never mind. Those are his eyes. Yeah, I think those are his eyes. And then there's Scourge there, obviously. I think he's holding something. Way bigger than a planet. And then there's Bumblebee. Oh, also, this, the, the plane, this plane in the background, he is an Autobot, like a very big Autobot. I can't remember his name, 
but I'm pretty sure it was confirmed that that is an Autobot. And I just, I'm horrible with, like, side character like, not side characters' names, but literally side side characters' names. Like, this guy's character, because he's, like, barely introduced or barely known at all in the Transformers, uh, fandom. That's nice. That's awesome. Can't wait to see Bumblebee in the new film. Shooting some sort of orbs. Hmm, maybe the, I'm assuming there may be bombs? In the end. That's really good. Scourge. Everything you cared for. Scourge's voice is awesome. And then, yeah, obviously getting stabbed. Though, the background is different from last time. From the last trailer, um, they were in this place. But if... Oh... I don't know. It looked like the background changed for when Scourge stabbed Bumblebee. Maybe there's another way to save our home. You've never That's pretty nice. It's like all the um, Autobots and Maximals making a last stand against the Terracons and Unicron to protect Earth. That's pretty nice. Anything like this. Optimus just standing there like, yep, yeah, I'm ready to rip some faces off. Let them come. Let them come. Oh my god. Like, whoever... I, I don't know, but... Other people may have their opinions, but... I don't know. I feel like that... Whoever made this like unicron like whoever made this happen just absolutely awesome like this you could not get any better than this for unicron live action like oh my this is just awesome now we need to see primus but that's a bit hard since he's basically cybertron oh but I mean, like, how can you not look at that and just go, wow. Like, it just looks awesome. Incredible. That was some sort of dragon that I'm not... Robot dragons. Apart from, uh... The dragon from... The, the Last Night. I don't know who else. That's nice. Again, we get to see a more clear version of Optimus Prime's Energy Blade, which, or Energon Blade, I should say, which again, all, completely awesome. And Scorponox too! So I'm assuming Scorponox are the main henchmen of the Terracons and Unicron, but look at just Optimus Prime will destroy them. Look, just bites it off. Cheetor in action. RC riding Rhinox, completely incredible. Maybe? Hmm. I'm almost curious if uh, RC and Wheeljack have some sort of, like, bond or something. Yo, Noah, take the wheel. Only in theaters June 9th. I will be there. I will be there. That. That's crazy. Wow. I mean... I'm, I'm excited for this movie. I'm... I'm very excited for this movie. This is going to be... Because again, it's been like, what, four or five years since we've got a Transformers movie? And from what we've seen through the trailers and all that... It looks incredible. We have... Unicron, live action Unicron, which looks fantastic, absolutely stunning. We have the Autobots, we have the Maximals, Terracon, Scourge, Scourge's design looks awesome. Wheeljack's design, it's slowly growing on me. Still think he should have kept to his um, Bumblebee movie appearance. Oh, I cannot wait to see what like Optimus Prime's relationship with the humans are like. Um, the interaction the Autobots and the Maximals are gonna have when they first meet each other. Um, what's gonna happen to Unicron at the end of the movie? Is he gonna die from Optimus Prime? Is he going to become uh, the Moon? The Moon, maybe. 
since Earth already exists, and maybe Unicron might die into becoming the moon somehow, like in Transformers Prime, how Unicron is the Earth. So maybe that's going to happen. I don't know. Just That's just not a theory. I'm just wondering what's going to happen. But overall, the trailer looks awesome. The movie is going to probably be ten times better. I'm just super excited for for this movie to come out. It's been so long. Anyway, though, that is my reaction to Transformers Rise of the Beasts official second trailer. Um, if you enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like down below as well as subscribing to the channel as well as turning on the post notifications bell so you do not miss any of my reviewing dinosaur episodes or any of my content in general. Um, my most recent uh, reviewing dinosaurs episode, Carnotaurus, has already hit a thousand views in only three days, which is absolutely incredible. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the support and yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video and have an amazing rest of your day.